dear students uh, we will see now the structures uh, that are seen after the coronal section of a kidney okay on coronal section the kidney presents two parts outer renal substance and inner renal sinus actually you have seen here the contents of the renal sinus uh, what are the contents the contents are the uh, vessels renal artery and its branches renal vein and its tributaries and the excretory portion the minor calyces the major calyx and the pelvis of the ureter and there are some fats and lymphatics also present in the renal sinus if we remove these structures from here then we will see a space uh, below the these structures we will see a space that space is known as the renal sinus okay and these are the contents of the renal sinus okay we know that in each kidney uh, there is uh, only one pelvis two to three major calyces these are the major calyces okay and these are the minor calyces and they are 7 to 13 in number they are outer dilated portion have a cup shaped depression for receiving the papilla of the renal pyramids okay now we will see about the renal substance the renal substance is further divided into two part one is outer cortex this portion uh, here is the renal cortex and this portion is renal medulla okay in the renal medulla there are some pyramid shaped structures here one here is another pyramid shaped structure here is another one okay these are called the renal pyramids there are 8 to 18 renal pyramids in the kidney uh, their base is directed to the cortex and their apex is projected into the cup of the minor calyx and this projected portion is known as the renal papilla clear here this portion is known as the renal papilla here is another papilla here is another papilla okay here is another one each minor calyx can receive one to three renal papilla and what are these structures duct like structures yes these are the ducts of bellini okay each papilla is perforated by 16 to 20 ducts now we will see the lobe of the kidney the area of the cortex uh, that is capped over the renal pyramid base of the renal pyramid is termed as the cortical arch here is one cortical arch here is another cortical arch another cortical arch okay one renal pyramid and its adjacent cortical arch form the lobe of the kidney so it is one lobe of the kidney here is another lobe of the kidney here is another lobe of the kidney clear in between the two lobes of the kidney the cortical tissue is termed as the renal column and it extends up to the medulla each arch uh, it consists of numerous medullary ray these are the medullary ray and convoluted part now we will cut one lobe of the kidney and show you in a larger view okay this is one lobe of the kidney but before uh, going to this we will just recapitulate about the medullary rays uh, these are the medullary rays these are the striated conical masses the apex of which is directed towards the surface of the kidney and its base is continuous with the striation of the medulla okay so let's see which structures are present in the cortical arch just look at here these are the renal corpuscles okay one corpuscle is cut here these are the corpuscles okay these are the proximal convoluted tubule here is the convoluted part proximal convoluted tubule here is the distal convoluted tubule here is another proximal convoluted tubule another distal convoluted tubule okay 
okay some collecting ducts are also present these are the collecting ducts clear and one more thing uh, should be added that the commencement of the duct of bellini is also present in the cortical arch and i am looking that there are some interlobular arteries are also present interlobular arteries and from here i want to tell you another information that the area of the cortical arch bounded on each side by these interlobular arteries by two interlobular arteries is termed as the lobule of the kidney okay so it is one lobule of the kidney where one medullary ray is situated in the central axis now we will see which structures are present in the renal pyramid just look at here the descending limb and ascending limb of the loop of henle both thin and thick here is another descending limb and ascending limb of loop of henle the duct of bellini is present here and there are some collecting ducts are also present and we should add that there are some vasa recta or straight vessels around this limb of loop of henle are also present in the renal pyramid thank you very much